Okay, it's time for some hot wing action. Now, Mama doesn't care for these, but she said that if I got all my chores done, I could treat myself a little bit. So, I got my chores done, and it's wing time. When I went to Country Mart, I noticed they had a new uh, sauce right here. And I thought, hey, it looks good. So, let's give it a shot. As a matter of fact, let's... Let's just try this right now. I have to crack the seal, but I haven't tasted it yet. So let's see what we got going on in here. Mmm, that's got a oh, that's got a that's got a vinegar in it. That's oh, good morning. That's got something going on here. Whew! <laughs> this is gonna be good. I'm glad I got all the kids I want. All right, we're gonna give this a shot. And we got our chicken here, and it's a smart chicken, because who wants a dumb chicken? Am I right? So we're going to parboil these. I'll show my recipe for that in just a second. So we're going to talk about parboiling. I know some people don't, and I don't care. I don't give a fat baby's behind. There's nothing that flavors chicken faster and better than a good parboil, especially if you're going to put them on the grill. Then you don't have to cook them so long out there. You don't have to burn them. So I love to parboil, it locks in the flavor. And we're gonna add some flavor. First of all, this Cajun Trinity, oh, you guys gotta order this stuff. It's fantastic. So we're gonna put a little bit in there, and then, oh yeah, little bit of that. Pinch of this, dash of that. Now this stuff here, if you guys can't find it, this is some really good salt. And then finally, some Mama's Hell on Wheels. Now you can use, you know, whatever hot sauce you like, you know, just Tabasco, anything you want. But that really, when you parboil, it didn't take but a few minutes, will really lock it in. So we are gonna get started. What? If you haven't tried any of these little peppers at your local, you really, they got, see all the seeds? They got that, they got some good heat there. Let's. Let's give that a try. Look at look at that. Oh, let me see. Oh, you just oh, that's what I want right there. Oh, I'm telling you. Oh, the pain train is coming. I have a round trip ticket. It's gonna be worth it though. Oh gosh, you guys. Mm. Marshall. Oh, okay. Okay, let's get started. Okay. First thing we're gonna put in our water right here is some of these good old peppers that I just tasted and boy, are they good. So we're gonna drop a couple in there. Well, okay, let's just do more. Whatever, there we go. A little bit of that juice goes a long way. Now, a little old jalapeno, gotta have that. So we'll put a little bit of that in there. Well, maybe a little bit more. There, we're done. Now, I'm gonna talk about this. This mixed up salt, it's really good. Adds a lot of flavor. So we are gonna put some salt in our water. That really helps a lot to flavor them up. That's good. Now, one thing I wanna talk about, I've mentioned it before, is this Cajun Trinity. This stuff is fantastic. It's got a great flavor. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna sprinkle some of that in there. Not a lot, just a little bit. It's all dehydrated, but it's gonna, it's gonna add a lot of flavor once it starts boiling. And like I said in the video before, you use a hot sauce, I'm gonna use the General's Hell on Wheels. Okay, so we're gonna, and that is all you need. So now we're gonna put this on there. We're gonna parboil these. It's only gonna take a few minutes. You don't wanna overdo it. Oh, man. <laughs> okay, we're gonna get to boil. The thing about parboiling is you don't wanna go too far so we've got this 
at a slow roll. And literally, these have only been in here for maybe three minutes. And see, already, they're just about where, like, the skin tightens up. They're all heated. The bone is sealed uh, with the flavor. It's getting inside there. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to shut this off, turn the heat off, and I'm going to let them just sit there. And you can just pull it off the burner because I don't want to overcook them. So you can pull it off the burner, off the heat, and just let them sit there and soak this up and get all happy. Oh my, I want to eat that again. No, okay, I'll wait. Whew, that's going to be good. Okay, so I took it off the burner. Now I'm just going to let this sit here once it starts rolling, shut it off. Now I'm just gonna let it sit here and get happy. Probably about five, 10 minutes, I'm just gonna leave it right here and then it'll be ready for the grill. Mmm. Ah, oh, smell of vision. I wish. Okay, so we've been preheating the grill. It's right around 350. Only got two burners on. Charcoal gas doesn't matter. My gas grill is wonderful. So, we're all ready. I drained the water right here, and now we're gonna put them on here and get things what going. What you do with some chicken like this, with the skins and stuff like that, is to use a little bit of Pam. I know what you might be thinking, but it does the trick. Now, up here, I'm just gonna go ahead and spray some of that on there, and it keeps the skin from sticking and peeling off. So I gave it a good coat right there. Now, if you don't have a top rack, then just go off center off the heat and do the same thing. But now that we got that, we're gonna load the chicken. Okay, so we have them loaded. We're gonna shut the grill down. Now you could throw some seasoning on here, but to me, it doesn't need any more. Um, your wing sauce is your seasoning. So, you know, after parboiling with all that flavor, you don't really need anything else. So, and uh, yeah, I threw the peppers on top because uh, <laughs> it looks cool. Makes me look, you know, like I know what I'm doing. Yeah, look at there. So let's just shut her down, let her roll. So I brought them back down here and that's the kind of crust I like, just a little bit. But once you start seeing them bubble and sizzling, that fat doing its magic on that skin, uh-huh. That's yeah, just a sweet spot, yeah, just like that. So, just about time to pull them, and we're gonna toss them. Pulled from the grill, looking good. Time for a little sauce. I don't like to overdo it. You know, you don't wanna waste it, you just wanna toss them a little bit. I don't know, just kinda eyeball that. Oh yeah. Oh, look, oh, yep, 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 yep. It's a looking good. Oh. Mmm. Boy, I can smell the vinegar. Ooh, sweet Mother Magoo. <laughs> That'll open you up. Oh, yeah. These are good. Oh, my goodness. That thing is just lighting me up. All right. It's time to plate up, but look at... Oh, look at that. Just another tip. Once you toss them, you get them in the bowl, let them rest for about five minutes, ten minutes. Temperature-wise, they're probably too hot to eat right away for most people, some people. So just let them cool down a little bit. That reverse cooking takes effect. It's soaking in all this goodness. Oh, boy, are they going to be, oh, are they going to be good? Have mercy. 